between yeah. refs, is there a bit of rivalry? Like, uh, you know, you're fighting over a certain match that you both want to, you know, let's say you or Tim White are having a bit of a fight over who wants to referee uh, Chris Jericho versus Triple H, let's say. Yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't really be a factor. Like, um, the live events, you know, we do the matches equally, would rightfully so, and there's some guys that would want you to do your, your matches, but um, it was always done by production. So there was a production meeting every TV from for like two hours. And they'll they'll either set the referees up and stuff like that for those matches and and so forth. So I mean, you know, it's never it was like you know, it was like you know when you see uh, there's there's times like when sh like Shawn Michaels wrestled Undertaker for the first time, and Charles did an unbelievable job in that match. You'd say as a referee, God, I wish I had that match, you know, because you never knew if it was going to be like it was, you know. I mean, and I sit there and go. Wow, I wish I had that match one you know day in my career, and I'm sure there's other referees going, man, I wish I had Rock and Hogan in 2002, you know, icon against an icon. I mean, that was just phenomenal in Toronto Sky Dome. So, the reaction and the shove off and the reactions, just to all the little stuff, the big push off, and it was just amazing. So. Since you brought it up, I'm going to mention it because that's something else I had to yeah. bring up. Is because I, I wrote a book and I've mentioned it all the time. I wrote a book on the Rock um, last right. year. And I uh, use every time to plug it, and it's in the background as well, as you might be able to see. Um, I contend, in the book and in real life, uh, that anybody who says that wasn't a great match, a, like a five-star match, is missing the entire point of the business. Yeah, the entire point is right, because it's not going to be no high-flying, coming off the top rope match and stuff like this. This is icon against icon. And there was a lot of, ex lot of expectations for that match. I mean, whether they were going to really hit it and. Everything panned out great. I had to take a bump in that match, and it just it worked out great. Um, I mean, Hogan looked great. I mean, for his age, coming down that ramp, and then the way the crowd just reacted to the, you know Hogan, it was phenomenal. I mean, it was just and here's like I always said, like Rock, you know, Hogan passed the torch to Rock, you know, in 2002 at the Sky Dome, and then after that, Rock took the torch and went to Hollywood. <laughs> <pretty> <laughs> So, I mean, but it was just, that's fantastic for all the years that we've seen Hogan do. And from Rock came into the business and it went into Hollywood. And look where the Rock's at now. He's one, he's one of the most popular Hollywood stars there is in the world. Uh, so, we're still in the match then. When uh, uh, Two questions, actually. One, when did you realize that Rock was going to get booed out of the building? And two, when did you get the goosebumps on your arm? When you just knew it was going to be Man. special? As soon as Hogan came out, <laughs> it was like, they were just behind Hogan all the way, you know, all the way. And they kind of knew Rock was going off to Hollywood, too, at that point, too, you know. So it was kind of, you know, Canada is such a great fan base and a great lot. Look at all the wrestlers that came out of Canada, too, you know, it's just amazing. Um, so, you know, they were, they're, they're pretty smart fans. and But they, uh, they said, hey, man, we're going with this guy, man, for the last 15, 20 years watching him as a kid, you know. And rightfully so, he looked phenomenal coming out great shape for his age and at that point and you know phenomenal match man yeah. never forget it. i'm gonna i'm gonna posit something to you then um i've heard like a couple of the deutsche writers uh say yeah. <laughs> um yeah. that hulk hogan outworked the rock and basically made himself look so much better at the rock's expense i'm i'm not sure i buy that but where uh where do you fall yeah. on that i'm not buying that they both made each other look great i mean it was just it was phenomenal, man. I mean, Rock had to work a certain way with Hogan. And Hogan's only got so many moves and so many, you know, things to do. I mean, the way they, they put everything into the match from start, from entrance to finish, was great. I mean, it should have been the last match of the night, but it wasn't, unfortunately. No. Unfortunately for you, it would have got the better payoff as well, maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Good point there. <laughs> 